We are here at the fourth annual symposium on regenerative medicine at the Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota, and we are joined by Dr. Kendall Lee, who is the director of the Neuroengineer Lab at Mayo Clinic and also director of research in the Department of Neurosurgery Enterprise, which means that he lead the research uh, initiative in the department not only in Rochester, but also in Arizona and Florida and the Mayo Healthcare System. And uh, he gave a wonderful presentation today uh, where he explored new technologies as, as well as new approach to cure, this is the, in, the, the word that we want to use here, the possibility to cure and restore function in patients with a spinal cord injury. And I would like he to give us a, a summary of uh, your presentation. Well, first, I would like to thank you, Dr. Terzik, as well as the organizers of this meeting. It was a lot of fun to give the presentation and to inform the public about what work we're doing in Neuroengineering Laboratory, as well as the collaboration that we have with PMNR, Physical Medicine Rehab and Neurosurgery. There are two aspects of the work that I would like to talk to you about today. First has to do with epidural stimulation. Now, this is really exciting because we recently received what's called Transform the Practice Grant from the Mayo Research Committee to study whether it is possible to stimulate epidurally in patients who have spinal cord injury to regain their lost motor function, lower extremity motor function. Recently, it's been described that the patients with epidural stimulation, just below the level of the lesion, the patients are able to regain some of their motor function. This is tremendous because before, there really was very little option for these patients. With the grant that we received, we are currently in the process of working through all of the regulatory issues with the FDA, the IRB, um, and um, our research committees to now allow us to recruit patients to replicate that study. It's very important um, that the findings are replicated so that we can extend this work to other patients. We have a very exciting collaboration with Dr. Reggie Egerton, who, as you know, is one of the preeminent neuroscientists in this area of spinal cord stimulation and in, um, in work related to reanimating paralyzed limbs. The second aspect that I would like to talk to you about is uh, work that we've been doing now for about four years, in particular with our graduate student, Mr. Peter Gran, who is helping us to study the possibility of now stimulating directly within the spinal cord. This is exciting because if we can stimulate the spinal cord directly, we may be able to control even better these neuronal poles that so far after the spinal cord injury lay dormant. We know that the nerves are there, the muscle is there. How do we control those, uh, those functions once again? We're using technologies that we've developed in conjunction with our Mayo Division of Engineering. Professor Kevin Bennett, who is our chair of Division of Engineering, is also the co-director of neuroengineering. And together with the neuroscientists, neurosurgeons, neurologists, and engineers, we're hoping to build novel implantable devices that can once again allow our patients to regain motor control. Well, this is very, very exciting and bringing a lot of hope yes. for the patient with this condition, with this devastating condition. And uh, you, are you vision that this is going, is going to, it can be beyond muscle control or limb control? Like what about bladder and bowel? Oh, yes, of course. And we know if you ask our patients with spinal cord injury, control of bowel, bladder function, um, autonomic functions is just as important as regaining uh, motor control. And the answer is yes. We are very much interested in also how do we use neuroengineering techniques to control those aspects of bodily function. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Lee, for this uh, wonderful presentation and for giving us this summary of your very, very exciting project that is going to impact the life of many patients. Great, thank you very much. Yeah.